Hello everyone, Jack here, and I just wanted to take a quick second to go over all the uh, important information you need to know about the Papilio Duo board before you start using it. So uh, we're taking a look at the front here, uh, the top, and on the top we have the Spartan 6 FPGA, we have the SRAM, and the USB chip. Uh, if we flip it over on the back, we see we have the AVR chip. Um, so the most important thing to know is that there are two USB ports. We have a mini USB, which is um, for the FPGA connection, and we have a micro USB, which is for the AVR chip. Now, this jumper here is probably the most important thing. This is going to select the power. So you need to have um, a jumper on this three-way header, and if it's on the bottom like it is here in this configuration, then you're going to get power from the FPGA USB port. If you want to not have the FPGA port plugged in and only use the USB, um, then you need to move this jumper to the top position. Okay, the other important information to know is that pins um, 0 through 13 they are 5 volt tolerant. So that means that um, you're able to connect any shields to this board that uh, use 5 volts. Now the FPGA and the Arduino, the AVR chip, will not provide 5 volts, but it won't, they won't be damaged by a shield that uses or that puts out 5 volts. Okay, uh, now the other piece of important information is the user switch here, SW1. Now, depending what circuit you have loaded to the FPGA, um, most circuits by default connect this user switch to the reset pin of the AVR. So, if the circuit you have loaded to the FPGA does have that functionality enabled, in order to make the AVR run, you're going to need to put this user switch into the up position. If you put it into the down position, that will disable the AVR chip and it will um, keep it in a reset state. Okay, um, another thing is this reset button here, the FPGA reset button. Um, this does a hard reset of the Spartan 6, the FPGA chip. It will not reset the AVR. Uh, and it will also wipe out whatever you have running on the FPGA and it will cause it to reload a bitstream from the SPI flash. So um, if you want to test the AVR, if you simply hold this FPGA reset down, if you, if you keep it held down, that will release the reset pin of the AVR and it will cause the AVR to run. So if you're ever in doubt of whether your AVR is working or anything like that, just hold down the reset pin. Um, that should wake it up. Okay, um, now for the wings. Um, when you connect a wing, you should have, um, th this is a SD wing, and it will have these four, um, four pins here that provide power. So this is ground, this is not used, this is 3.3 .3 volts, and this is 5 volts. So make sure you line them up so that the when you plug in a wing, it's going into a wing slot and hitting those power pins. Like so. Okay, and the reason this is important be, is because this 32-bit uh, header here, the wing slots are staggered, so it, it, the tendency is to plug it in uh, to this top part here, and then you will have connected the wrong power. So whenever you connect to the 32-bit pin, be careful, or the 32-bit header, be careful that you are uh, connecting it to the power portion. So uh, I think that's pretty much the important things to cover, and uh, thank you for watching.